Your take on One UI 7.0 really highlights the anticipation and excitement surrounding this upcoming update. It's clear that Samsung is aiming to make a big splash with this new version, and the extended development time suggests they want to ensure it's polished and ready to impress. The fact that One UI 7.0 is rumored to be a major redesign rather than just a minor update adds to the intrigue. Samsung's focus on making the strong first impression, as mentioned by Ice Universe, sets high expectations. If they can deliver an experience that feels fresh and innovative within the first minute, it could set a new standard for Android interfaces. The redesigned icons, lock screen, and notification area are exciting but it's the overall integration and new UI animations that could truly elevate the user experience. As you mentioned, how these elements come together will be key, and it's something we'll need to see in action to fully appreciate. The potential delay in the beta launch, while disappointing, might actually be a good sign. It indicates that Samsung is taking the time to perfect the update, ensuring that it's not just different, but also better in every way. The fact that the delay might be tied to the rollout of One UI 6.0 unknown shows that Samsung is being methodical in its approach, perhaps to avoid any overlap or confusion among users. If One UI 7.0 truly marks the start of a new era for Samsung software, then Galaxy phone users have a lot to look forward to. The next year could be transformative, not just in terms of new hardware, but also in how the software feels and performs. What are your thoughts? Do you think One UI 7.0 will live up to the hype? Or are you cautious about such a significant redesign? Let me know in the comments below. Large folders in One UI 7 certainly have the potential to be a game changer for Samsung users. By enabling quicker access to frequently used apps, this feature can significantly streamline the user experience. The convenience of opening apps directly from the folder with a single tap much like on Harmony OS and Hypers, offers a more efficient way to organize and interact with apps. Here's why I think large folders could make a significant impact. Efficiency. With large folders, you save time by reducing the number of taps needed to access your favorite apps. This can be particularly useful for users who frequently switch between apps throughout the day. Organization. Keeping your home screen tidy while having easy access to essential apps is a big win. Large folders combine the best of both worlds by maintaining a clean home screen and providing quick access to apps. Customization. Depending on how Samsung implements this feature, users might have options to customize the layout and functionality of large folders, further enhancing the user experience. Consistency. Aligning with features found in other operating systems, such as Harmony OS, ensures that Samsung remains competitive and keeps up with user expectations for modern mobile interfaces. Whether this feature will be available in the first beta release of One UI 7 or in subsequent updates remains to be seen. However, its introduction could indeed make navigating through apps more seamless and user-friendly, potentially becoming a staple feature for many Samsung users. What are your thoughts on this feature? Do you think large folders will significantly change how you use your device? The leaked features for Samsung's One UI 7.0 are shaping up to be quite extensive and promising. Here are some highlights. The update will bring fresh design elements to the system apps and backgrounds, likely giving a more modern and cohesive look. The new control area at the bottom of the lock screen and adjustments to shortcut icons positions should enhance usability and accessibility. The independent or merged pull-down shortcut bar and notification along with the pill-shaped UI element in the notification bar, aimed to improve the user experience by making interactions more fluid, optimized animations for app opening slash closing and new unlock animations will contribute to a smoother and more engaging interface. The new battery icon and charging animation bar are likely to make monitoring battery status more visually appealing and intuitive. A redesigned camera UI could offer a more streamlined and efficient photography experience. The addition of new desktop and lock screen widgets, as well as large folders, will provide more customization options and functionality. This is a notable addition, enhancing messaging capabilities over 5G networks. The beta program's anticipated launch for the Galaxy S24 series and potentially other high-end and foldable models is exciting. 
it'll be interesting to see how these new features perform in real-world use. What do you think about these updates? Do any particular features stand out to you? The new details about Samsung's One UI 7.0 are indeed exciting. The updates seem to bring a range of improvements that enhance both the visual appeal and functionality of Samsung devices. The placement of the search bar at the bottom of the app drawer is a practical change, making it more accessible for one-handed use, which is especially beneficial for larger devices. The flexibility to show or hide icon names on the home screen is a welcome addition, allowing users to customize their experience based on their preferences for a cleaner or more informative look. The changes to the Samsung Internet Browser app, including the new icon and better font display effects, should improve the overall browsing experience, making it more visually pleasing and user-friendly. Overall, these updates in One UI 7.0 seem to be aimed at improving usability and customization, which are key aspects for a better user experience. The anticipation for the beta release in the third week of August is building, and it will be interesting to see how these changes are received by users. Are there any specific features or updates in One UI 7.0 that you're particularly looking forward to?